My name is Stephen Gurney. I'm a graduate research assistant in the Department of Fisheries and Wildlife here at Michigan State University, uh, and I'm a proud member of the Christensen Lab. We got two hot topics in deer management coming together in a single project, chronic wasting disease and antler point restrictions. Antler point restrictions change the uh, abundance and age sex composition of the true deer population, not to be confused with the harvested segment. There's a limited understanding how changes in deer abundance and age sex composition may influence prevalence and spread of CWD. So this study is taking place in the five county CWD core area in the Lower Peninsula. Kent County, Nuego, Macosta, Montcalm, and Ionia. We have a total of 144 trail cameras. We set them up uh, mid-June and we take them down for bow season in October. When we're looking at those images, we're, we're trying to get that count data. So we're trying to classify an image. Is, is that a fawn in the image, a doe? Is it a sub-legal buck or a legal buck as defined in the harvest regulation? In the control area, there's no antler point restrictions. You know, any bucks with one antler, at least three inches or larger, can be harvested legally. Whereas in the east side of our study area, bucks that are, can be legally harvested have to have four or more points on one side. That harvest regulation was implemented in 2019. So what we're doing with our cameras is we're getting a snapshot of the deer population over time, and we're looking at trends and how that harvest regulation change um, changes the true deer population. We anticipate that our findings will help inform CWD management and harvest guidelines, not just for Michigan, but on a national level too. And as a bonus, help advance trail camera methods for improved population estimation, efficiency, and resource savings.